Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we'll be checking out part five of the ongoing story in the Batman Detective Comics Weekly event. Uh, this is part five named, uh, I love this, uh, Psycho Pirate Que Say. Uh, so, like the song, if you're familiar with the song and you get this, I let me tell you, Mariko Tamaki and the team have been not only doing an amazing job on this weekly series, which I can't I, I can't imagine that it's an easy task to do a weekly series, especially on the Detective Comics. Um, see, it's in the Detective Comics issues, uh, as there's such high expectation, really. You know, this is one of the longest running uh, titles ever in, in history of anything. Um, I also really like, like I said, the reference to the song uh, Psycho Killer. But, you know, in the last issue, and then here's, if you haven't read the last, the last few issues, uh, definitely go back and check out the tower parts one through four. But yeah, the introduction of the psycho pirate. Uh, it's a really interesting character that we've seen in Batman recently. Tom King uh, in introduced him back in his run, and he's been around every once in a while. Um, but he's got a lot of issues. So let's get into looking at some preview art, and then we'll talk more about the story. So <clears throat> throughout this issue, we know that the, the psycho pirate... Um, and has been doing the one, he's the, the one that's been controlling a lot of the manipulations in the tower. So the mind manipulations of one of DCU's most calamitous villains are revealed at the heart of Arkham Tower. But who's really calling the shots? As Batwoman un undercover operation takes a disastrous turn, Huntress finds her own mission inside the tower, growing more perilous by the moment. All is revealed in this explosive first chapter uh, in Act 2 of the Shadows of the Bat weekly event. So, yeah, here we have, uh, so we left off with the big reveal last issue that the Psycho Pirate was behind uh, the mind control at Arkham. So the the reason that a lot of the inmates are um, acting the way they are, like if they are um, healed, it's because of the Psycho Pirate's manipulations. But, you know, the Psycho Pirate has his own problems. Uh, he, if, if, as we saw in the previous art here, he finally gets some help. Uh and this is kind of where they hatch the plan of like, yeah, I can use my power to make these people seem like they're being cured at the Arkham Tower, but it's all a big ruse. Uh, in the meanwhile, the team, we go back to see how they were putting every, or trying to put all the pieces together, trying to understand what was going on. Um, and then we see some of the manipulations in, you know, before the tower was open as to why they wanted to make sure that these drugs, like, they're they're running a drug empire from the tower, so this whole this whole like helping villains and getting them cured it's it's a whole big ruse with the psycho pirate here, just to make sure that this drug empire doesn't fall. Uh, so you know, and and the powers of the psycho pirate are pretty strong. So like his mind manipulation can affect multiple people at the same time, as we've seen in these issues, uh, and we've seen that in the past. So. Yeah, it'll be tough for the Bat family to kind of get over that hurdle. So this issue was very interesting. Uh, we do have a different artist that is not Ivan Race. But, I mean, this is the second art. I completely understand switching over. Uh, but I really like the issue. It really fits the house style. It really feels like, you know, a, an authentic Batman story. So I think the team is doing a fantastic job keeping up with the weekly, with the weekly lead. Uh, but, yeah. But let me know what you think of the, this issue. Let me know what you think of the story so far in Detective Comics. Like I said, I'm really enjoying the weekly pace of this. Uh, it's been such a long time since I bought a Batman book weekly, which, you know, for one thing, it does save money. But but this book is so worth it, especially with the backup story, too, uh, that continues the House of Gotham. We have part five here. Um, it, it's been pretty, pretty interesting. So, uh, you know, I, I'm really biased towards Batman, but... I think I would be picking up this book regardless of because it's really good. Like I mentioned, Mariko Tamaki's just been really like I've been enjoying all her stuff. Um, pretty much that's dedicated to the Bat family, even starting from Future State and all the stuff from last year. So really, really happy that uh, the team here remains on this book as they're going forward. Uh, but you let me know what you thought of that. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live that it's most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. 
And remember, we have more comic reviews, TV recaps, trailer reactions, movie reviews, all that stuff in the channel. Also, our audio podcast is back for season three. Uh, so check that out. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.